Motivation and Personality is a seminal work in the field of psychology written by Abraham Maslow in 1954. In the book, Maslow challenges the reductionist views of behaviorism and psychoanalysis, which were predominant at the time, and introduces his theory of human motivation centered on the concept of a hierarchy of human needs. Maslow's central thesis is that human beings are motivated by a series of needs that are arranged in a hierarchical order. These needs range from the most basic physiological necessities to the most advanced psychological desires. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is generally depicted as a pyramid with the largest, most fundamental levels of needs at the bottom and the need for self-actualization at the top. The hierarchy of needs consists of five levels. 1. Physiological needs. These are the basic requirements for human survival, such as food, water, warmth, rest, and sex. According to Maslow, these needs must be met first before an individual can move on to higher levels of motivation. 2. Safety needs. Once physiological needs are fulfilled, individuals seek safety and security. This encompasses personal and financial security, health and well-being, and safety against accidents and injury. 3. Love and belongingness needs. After physiological and safety needs are met, humans have a desire for interpersonal relationships. This level includes the need for friendships, intimacy, trust, acceptance, receiving and giving affection and love, and being part of a group, family, friends, work. 4. Esteem needs. The fourth level of Maslow's hierarchy revolves around esteem and respect. There are two types of esteem needs, esteem for oneself, dignity, achievement, independence, and the desire for reputation or respect from others, status, prestige. 5. Self-actualization. At the pinnacle of Maslow's hierarchy is self-actualization, which refers to the desire for self-fulfillment, namely to become everything one is capable of becoming. This is the need to realize one's potential and to develop talents and capabilities to their fullest extent. According to Maslow, only a small percentage of the population reaches this level of psychological development. Maslow postulates that lower needs in the hierarchy must be at least partially satisfied before higher needs can influence behavior. This doesn't mean that the lower needs must be completely satisfied, but rather that they must be adequately catered for. Only then can one move up the hierarchy. However, there are individual differences in the rate of progression and the extent of satisfaction at each level. One of the central themes in motivation and personality is the idea of self-actualization, which is the process of realizing and fulfilling one's potential. Maslow discusses the characteristic behaviors and qualities of self-actualized individuals who are autonomous, have a realistic view of the world, and are capable of deep appreciation of basic life experience. Maslow also explores the concept of peak experiences, which are profound moments of love, understanding, happiness, or rapture when a person feels more alive, more aware, and experiences a sense of euphoria and deep meaning. He suggests that during these experiences, individuals feel more whole, integrated, and aware of the truth, beauty, and goodness in life. Critical to Maslow's understanding of motivation is the idea that individuals are inherently good and have an innate drive towards health, growth, and the actualization of their potentials. This positive view of human nature contrasts sharply with the rather pessimistic view presented by Freudian psychoanalysis, which emphasizes the pathological aspects of human behavior. Maslow did not just focus on what goes right in human development. He also addressed deficiency needs and their role in stifling growth and leading to psychopathology. Maslow explains that when one or more of the lower needs, physiological, safety, love and belongingness, esteem, are unmet, Individuals are prone to experiencing anxiety and may adopt defense mechanisms or coping strategies that can become counterproductive and lead to psychological distress or neurosis. Throughout the book, Maslow espouses a humanistic approach to psychology, which respects individual experience and emphasizes the study of whole persons. Humanistic psychology is concerned with human potentials, self-awareness, and the freedom of choice, it is principally engaged with what it means to be fully and uniquely human. Maslow posits that in order to understand people, psychologists and researchers should not only investigate people with pathologies, but should also study healthy, thriving individuals.
This approach led him to study a group of historical figures who he believed were examples of self-actualized individuals, such as Abraham Lincoln and Albert Einstein, to understand better the nature of self-actualization. Another important point in the book is Maslow's critique of the reductionist, mechanistic views of human beings that he felt dominated his field. Maslow believed that to understand human psychology and motivation, one must look beyond the simple behavioral or biological responses and consider the richer, more complex experiences of individuals. Towards the end of the book, Maslow explores the concept of B values, or being values, which are the ultimate values in the realm of self-actualization. These include truth, beauty, goodness, unity, and transcendence, among others. He suggests that self-actualized individuals are motivated by these values and they permeate their perceptions of the world and their actions within it. In conclusion, Motivation and Personality offers a comprehensive theory that incorporates a more positive image of human beings, emphasizes personal growth, and values the potential for self-fulfillment as the ultimate form of human motivation. Maslow's work has been highly influential, not just in psychology, but also in fields such as education, business, and management, as it offers a framework for understanding human needs and motivations that can lead to a fulfilling life. His hierarchy of needs model remains one of the most recognizable and widely utilized theories in understanding human motivation to this day.